Bosh. Hello, welcome to a Paul's beer reviews. I don't look like Paul. He's, no. he's a lot larger than I am. So yeah, welcome to Paul's beer reviews. My name's Chris from Chris's beer reviews on Paul's beer reviews. How weird is that that I'm on Paul's beer reviews at the channel? It's a bit um, different. It is a little bit different. So I'm hijacking Paul's channel. We're in my pub shed on uh, Chris's beer reviews stroke Paul's beer reviews, and we are looking at. You introduce that, mate. Well, this, Go is, for it. this is a special one. We've been drinking a keg of Lord's beer this evening, and Chris pulled this out of the fridge. This is one of my favourite beers. It's from Iinger, and it's their Celebrator. Doppelbock and this is one that I've been drinking this time of year for quite a number of years now to the point where if you notice my Christmas tree in the backdrop of my channel there's box little goats little white goats hanging on the mm. Christmas tree and you get one of these with every small bottle but Chris because he's an animal <laughs> has bought a big bottle of this Doppelbock and you can't see the bottle cap properly but it's got a little bock on it and you get that with it. So this is their doppel book for my anger. This is coming in at 6.7% ABV. Lovely artwork. Fantastic With the artwork. two stags, either, either side of a beer. This is an absolute classic. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get this open. We're gonna pull it into a couple of glasses and let's see what we think. Let's have it. So Chris, we'll it. do the honor as soon as you paid the money for it. Go on then. So we've got <laughs> two identical glasses in, yes, I did identical, pay the money. Identical glasses. Identical glasses. Identical. 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 We've had identical a few glasses. Beers. We've been we've out. We've had a few. We've been out. We've been to the boozer. We had a few pints of war style. We've been watching the football. And uh, yeah, then we came back here. We've done a keg of Lord's beer, which was lovely. We have done the keg of it. We've done a keg <laughs> of it. Hardly anything left in that one. And now we're going to finish the night with a bit of a bit of class, a bit of class, bit of class. Bit so, of class. Chris, you got this off a of trembling madness. I did. How much did you pay for this huge bottle? I paid for this amazing bottle of beer, a seven hundred and fifty milliliter bottle of beer. Yeah, comes in at only. Six pound ninety nine. Six ninety nine. Six ninety nine. You can't get a decent yeah. bottle of wine for that, can you? No, you can't. It's fantastic. And this is one of the best double box ever made. It really is. Uh, this is the uh, the twenty the twenty twenty one ever uh, edition. Twenty twenty one edition. <laughs> that's what I'm saying there. <laughs> the twenty twenty one edition. This is. So we're looking forward to this. So uh, yeah, let's get it open. Let's just crack on. And, and I've had it. I, I have had it, and I've never reviewed it. And I don't know why I've never reviewed it. So. Let's and I, I, was, I was the same. I realised I've been drinking this beer now for a few years and I've never actually done a review of it. No. So if you've, been, if you've ever been tempted, if you've ever been intrigued to try this beer, oi, oi. this is what we're here for. Oh, 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 God, that was a poll, wasn't it? That was an interesting When ball. aggressive with that one, it's gone over. Look, you can see it dripping. Everyone loves a dripping one. That was an interesting <laughs> pour. So try not to do what Chris has done. No, don't, don't do what I've done. So we put that don't in the do. middle. But on it, it, it's a ruby red. It's a dark, a dark beer with a ruby red blood dripping through it. <laughs> Look at that. And Look it, at it, that. It, it's really dark up here. But yeah, you do get that lovely kind of ruby colour coming through there. The head is, well, mine. It's is, a tad head, <laughs> It's a very slight... Push of his extreme pouring. <laughs> but I, oh, yeah, I look at the difference in heads. Different, I mean, yeah. yeah. Chris, Chris, I think you should, you should chuck the bottle upside down, don't you? It, it's quite We've creamy. got a massive head, but even mine is holding. <laughs> it's holding on to a tiny <laughs> bit of head. Slightly tanned, off-white head. Yeah. Let's get the aroma on this bad boy. Let's have a cheers. Let's get the aromas. Oh. Oh, God, it's so good. Yeah. I've got it all over my hands. It's Jesus. everywhere. It's up my nose. It's everywhere. We're going to have to do a clear up. But it just so smells... So malty. It, it's it, so malty. It's such this time of year beer. It's a proper winter beer. This, this is what winter is about for yep. me. It, it just feels winter. And, and I've said it on my channel. I know I'm on Paul's channel. And I know I'm dominating the review. But this is one of those beers that you want in front of an open fireplace. Yeah. It's got that beautiful winter feel to it. It's just, it's dark fruit. Dark fruits, malty. It's, it's like a boozy fruitcake aroma to it. It's pure, 
Christmas fruit cake. Pure <laughs> Christmas fruit cake. Dark fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing. laughing. It's, just, it's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking it's hilarious. Dark fruit. But it is. Figgy. Yeah. Figgy. Oh, figgy. figgy. Absolutely. It's all figgy. Absolutely. It's figgy. dark fruit. It's Christmas pudding. It's Christmas pudding in a beer. <laughs> Dark raisins, raisins, sultanas. Yeah. Resinous. It's malty. malty. There's bread and butter. It's not a saurine. It is a fruit exactly. malt loaf. It's a yeah. saurine. It is malt loaf. Oh, With a little hint of booze. I'm going to get stuck in, mate. I love it. He's Cheers. getting stuck in. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers Let's mate. get stuck in. Mm. Oh, that's outrageously oh. good outrageously good it's smooth so smooth so such smooth. a carbonation that you get right at the end there and the the, the carbonation is minimal min yeah absolutely yeah. that's what i was trying to say before he interrupted <laughs> well, he did the <laughs> that's it's, what i was doing that it's that it's just that, that. No, i know what you meant just, just i know what you meant just a gentle mean. little tickle of carbonation there's dark fruit there's a sweetness to it there's a dark fruitness to it but despite the lack of carbonation, it coats the palate. Mm. Your whole mouth is covered in what it. What's the ABV? Excuse me. 6.7% ABV. And you ain't picking up on that 6.7% ABV. It's got a little gentle warmth, a very, very gentle yeah. warmth, which just works so well with those dark oh. fruits. <laughs> Which makes it very Christmas cake like. Yeah. It's exactly I, what it is. I only drink this beer at Christmas. It's one of them beers I only drink at Christmas. And every Christmas I drink it and I kind of think, God, this beer is good. Mm. I wish I'd drunk it the rest of the year. Dark fruits. Cakey. Yeah. Good mouthfeel. Beautiful body. Boozy. It's a boozy fruit cake. It is, yeah. It's exactly what it is. Boozy fruit. F f f f f boozy. Yeah. <laughs> boozy fruit cake. Boozy fruit cake. Bit of sweetness as well. You get a nice little bit of sweet dark fruits to it. A sweetness on the sultana, the raisin, kind of gentle figginess mm. with a big boozy kind of kick to it. That's I say big, but it's kind of gentle at the same time. Yeah, a bit of kind of doughiness to it, the breadiness to it. Is that is that bread and butter thing? That's mm. so like classically German. Yeah, but they've added fruitcake figs and oh, Christmas man. pudding and there's a touch of chocolate to it as well oh. there's a touch of chocolate there's some dark malt I imagine there's some crystal malt gone into this it's got to be crystal malt because there is a, a very gentle chocolate there's a touch of chocolate to it, it it's glorious it's, it a, it's, glorious. A, it's a treat it's not even <laughs> it's not a beer it's more of a treat it's mm. like a Christmas pudding yeah it's like a festive pudding in a beer and that's the best way I can describe it. It is. I, I, that's okay. I've been drinking this for a few years, and it, every time I drink it, I'm never not impressed. No. Nope. I'm never not impressed by the nope. quality of this beer. I need to start looking at the camera a little bit more. I've realised I've not looked at the camera at all during this whole review. <laughs> it's funny you say that about looking at the camera. I'm, I try and make a conscious effort of looking at the camera because most of the time I look down, yeah. I look to the side. It's, it's you find people that are watching so look at the beer you want to see us our beautiful I, faces. I imagine a lot of you would have had this one before of course and you know exactly what we're talking about right now it is rich mm. it is full bodied yeah it is boozy you are getting that 6.7 percent actually the more you drink it the more you realize that it's not a session beer it's not <laughs> it's definitely not a session beer it is, and it goes back. If you, if, mm. if any of you that watch this legend channel, but then watch mine, I talk a lot about these types of beers where they're perfect in front of an open fire. That's yeah. what this is. This yeah. is an open fire beer, and I say it a lot on my channel about these types of beers that just give you that lovely warming feeling yeah. that you just want to sit in front of an open fire or a log banner, whatever you've got. Yep. And just chill. A radiator. Yeah. <laughs> There's a radiator down a radiator. here. There's a lovely like, radiator down there. It's not overly sweet. 
No, it's, it's not, not. It's not like, oh, God, that's too sweet at all. There's a balance to it as well. Yeah. Which is another element that makes his beer as good as it is. Yeah. You know, I mean... It's a chill-out beer, isn't it? It is. It is it a is. chill-out beer. I mean, they call it, it's, it's called the Celebrator. The Celebrator this time it's, of year. Yeah. It's yeah. the perfect beer for yeah. celebrating a time of year. We're coming up to Christmas now. We're, what, two and a half weeks away from Christmas? Yeah. It's the perfect time to drink a beer like this. It and is. it is... Honestly, an absolute delight. It's I, an absolute delight. When when I ordered that, I was thinking that's a big bottle, seven hundred and fifty ml bottle. Can I sit there and just go through that on my own? I could have done. I could have drunk that on my own <laughs> easily, easily. <laughs> but to sit here and share a seven fifty ml bottle with Paul, it, to yeah. me, it's just fantastic. That's, that's, this is yeah. what a beer like this was made yeah. for. It's a sharing this beer. This is what a beer like this was made for, for sharing with people that you like. Yep. <laughs> sharing <laughs> people you like. <laughs> sharing I do quite like him. Quite like him, which is a bonus. <laughs> he's not a bad guy, he's a bonus. This one. He's all right. For sharing yeah. with people that you half, you half like. <laughs> if, so if you've got any relatives that are coming over at Christmas that you kind of think are okay, get this in for yeah. them. Get this in for do them it. share it with them. Share it. And if, if they don't, if they don't appreciate it, then just don't invite them next year. <laughs> don't just invite get them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Yeah, don't invite them next <laughs> Christmas. If they don't like proper beer, just don't invite yeah. them next Christmas. Job done. S simple as that. Job so when, done. So when he came round tonight, we were sitting here, we've had a couple of beers. I was like, I need to share this beer with Paul. I'm going <laughs> to open it and I'm going to share it with him. I'm chuffed you why did. Not? I'm not, yeah, exactly. He's I'm chuffed, chuffed I did. I'm, I'm glad I did. It's a great beer. To drink that on my own, I could have done, but... No, why not share it with a legend? This yeah. man's a legend. Fantastic guy. Happy days. And that's what the beer community is about, isn't it? It's just blown my head up yeah. a little bit. A little bit too much. A little bit too much, but nah. He's a good guy. But we're here. We're here at Chris's uh, his, 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 his bar, his garden bar, which is awesome. I kind of wish I had one. You will have one. And uh, yeah, we've enjoyed this. Yeah, we have. This celebrated for my anchor, which is one of my favourite German breweries. Probably my favourite German brewery, actually, when I think about it. It's a glorious beer, and uh, we're enjoying it yeah. and drinking it together. And it's it's the best way. That's it's the best way to enjoy a beer. Oh. Be it's the best friends. way to enjoy a beer. We're good. We're good people. We're yeah. good people. And uh, I feel like because we've had a skinful, <laughs> we're, we're talking absolute waffle. <laughs> we're stage. talking bullshit. We're talking absolute waffle. I'm stage. sitting here thinking probably time to end the review. Probably time to end the review. It's still going. It's still going. It's a beautiful it's still beer. Going. It's a beautiful beer, and I love all of you. I love all of you. That's how you know when you're tipsy, you start telling everyone you love them. You love everyone. I love all of you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk around here to stop the camera, and Chris is going to uh, end the video for us. I'll keep talking until keep talking. he presses it. So thank you very much for watching. You've been watching the Paul's Beer Reviews and Paul's Beer Reviews channel with Chris's Beer Reviews. We love you all. Keep drinking a good beer. See you all soon. ta -da.